오늘 12가 힘의 원천은 어디서 오는가? Today's lecture 12, where does the source of power come from? 예레미야 33장 1절 9절 말씀입니다. Scripture reading is Jeremiah chapter 33 from verse 1 to 9. 자, 우리 통역하신 선생님 한번 이거 영어로. Yeah, I will read up for you. While Jeremiah was still confined in the courtyard of the guard, the word of the Lord came to him a second time. This is what the Lord says, He who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established it, the Lord is his name. Call to me, I will answer you, and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says about the houses in this city and the royal palaces of Judah that have been torn down to be used against the siege rams and the sword. In the fights with the Babylonians, they will be filled with the dead bodies of the men. <clears throat> I will slay in my anger and wrath. I will hide my face from the, this city because of all its wickedness. Nevertheless, I will bring heal, health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and will be, rebuild them as they were before. I will cleanse them from all the sin they have committed against me and will forgive all their sins of rebellion against me. Then the city will bring me renown, joy, praise, and honor before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I, I provide for it. 자, 에, 우리 성도들이 실제로 예, 현장 가면 어, 뭐, 잘 되는 게 없어요. All the believers, when they realistically go into the field, actually nothing is working out for them. 어, 왜 그럴까요? But why is it like 아, 불신자 살려야 되는데 불신자 살린 그냥 뭐 불신자보다 더 못해요. They must save the unbelievers in the field, but sometimes they are even worse than the unbelievers in the field. 에, 그러니까 세상을 살려야 되는데 실제로 뭐 세상 살린 그냥 세상 가서 불신자 이제 신부로 마고 이렇게 합니다. Realistically, they have to save this world, but actually they are worse often than uh, worse often the unbelievers, so they cannot save them. 어, 왜 그럴까요? But why is it? 에, 보니까 대부분 거의 다이 근본 에, 예, 안 돼요. So when the, we look at them, uh, most of them, the fundamentals they do not have. 에, 근본은 영적인 건데 영적인 영적인 Fundamentals are the spiritual things, so they need to have these spiritual things first. 그리고 어, 거의 보면요, 어, 기본이 안돼 있어요. And also most of them, they don't have these basics or base. 자세인데 이런 부분이. So here the basic refers to the posture or attitude, but they don't have this. 기초가 안 되다. And then they don't have the foundation as well. 실제 삶에 어떤 힘이 되는데 이런 부분. So in real life, they don't have any strength of power. 그러니까 어, 세상 나가면 다 이거 불신자를 뭔가지 못 이기지 못. That's why even though they are believers, when but they when they go out into the field, they cannot win over all the unbelievers. 그리고 막 대부분 어렵다. 진짜 안 된다 이렇게. So most of the believers they say in the field, oh, things are difficult, and then things are not taking, uh, not working out for us. 어, 가끔 성공한 사람도 있어요. Of course, there are some. In some cases, there are successful people as well. 성공은 했는데 이번에 뭐 거의 복음이 또 이렇게 희미해요. Even though they succeeded in the world, but the gospel they have is very vague. 에, 그러니까 뭐 어, 그냥 불신자 성공한 사람 가지고 그렇게 사는 겁니다. So they are just uh, merely just like the unbelievers. Uh, they succeed just like that. 에, 그러니까 뭐. 복음에 대한 막 갈급함 이런 뿌리가 없다 보니까 그냥 가서 복음 다 버리지 못하는 겁니다. They don't have the desperateness of the gospel and also root of the gospel. That's why when they go into the field, they cannot give answer to the people. 그래서 세상 나가면 다 실패하는 겁니다. So that's why when they go out into the field, most of them they are bound to have failure. 자 이런 신자가 이니까 실제로 어, 현장은 장하, 불신자 장하고 도리어 불신자가 이렇게 리드가 되는 
As I just mentioned, you know, unbelie uh, the believers are like this. They have no strength, no power. That's why unbelievers, they are actually conquering and leading the world. 오늘 본문 말씀은 예레미야가 시들들이 가셔 때 하나님 말씀. So today's passage come from when the Jeremiah was confined in the courtyard of the the guard. 어 예레미야가 예레미야 하나님을 안색 무상수비하기서 어 이스라엘은 망할 것이다. God told Jeremiah that because Israelites did not worship God, so then they will perish. That's what God said to Jeremiah. Israel and Babylon will follow that God. And Israel will become captive to Babylon. 그러니까 어 뭐랍니까? 너 이게 뭐침 바벨론 파다 이래가지고 깜빡 가다픈 거야. Then all the Israel they criticize the Jeremiah that oh you are pro to uh Babylon, so they. Confined him in the courtyard. Jeremiah just relayed the God's word to them, but instead, all these Israelites confined him in the courtyard. So at that time, a second time, God spoke to Jeremiah. 그렇죠. 두 번째 이 말이 다 하나님 요한의 말씀입니다. That's why in verse one it says, "A second time, God spoke to Jeremiah." Or 그럼 뭐랍니까? 이를 행하는 여호와, 그것을 지어 성취한 여호, 그 이름을 여호와를 가자 이가시로라. In verse two it says, "This is what the Lord says: He who made the earth, the Lord who formed it and established, the Lord is His name." 너는 내게 부르짖으라. Call to me. 내가 너에게 응답하겠고. I will answer you. 네가 알지 못한 크고 비밀 은밀한 일을 네게 보이라. Tell you and uh, tell you the great and the hidden things you do not know. 하나님이 예레미야에게 에, 눈을 열어줬어. 그렇죠. God opened the, the eye of Jeremiah here. 세 가지 눈을 열어줬어. So God opened the three types of eyes in 에, Jeremiah. So the first eye was the spiritual eye. 에, 그러니까 에, 실제로 이게 뭡니까? 어, 이게 에, 지금 막 에, 하나님이 우리를 실패시킨 게 아니고 사단이 우리를 실패시킨 거예요. So realistically, Jeremiah opened the eye that it was not God who brought the failure to Israel, but it was the Satan. 결국 그게 영적 문제예요. So eventually, that was the spiritual problem of Israel. 영적인 파워 들어가면 결국 사단의 문제. So if you also deep, uh, deep inside, you go inside, then it is the problem of Satan. 그래서 우리가 정말로 말씀을 붙잡아야 돼요. That's why we must hold firmly hold to the God's word. 하나님이 또 예레미야에게 말씀을 주셨다. Again, God gave His word to Jeremiah. 예, 여기서 말씀을 계속 듣으면서요, 평생 기도 제목이 나온 겁니다. So Jeremiah, as he continued to listen to God's word, so he found his lifetime prayer topics from this. 그러면 그게 24시 기도. Then once it becomes his life temporal topic, then it turns into 24-hour prayers. 이러면 여기서 이걸 통해서 하나님은 크고 비밀한 일을 우리에게 뭐야 주신다. Then through these life temporal topics as well as 24-hour prayer topics, then God gives always great and hidden things we do not know. 그러니까 여러분이 마찬가지입니다. So it is the same for us. 자, 우리가 이게 나올 때 정말 하나님이 So when we find our lifetime prayer topics as well as 24-hour prayer topics, then God gives His great and hidden things we do not know. 그러면 우리 신자들이 사실은 이게 근본적으로 다른데 말이죠. 우리 이런 부분 전혀 모르고 못 누리기 때문에 그럴 수밖에 없는 거예요. But all the believers they are ignorant about this, so they cannot enjoy all these blessings. 자. 구원받았다는 말은 뭔 말입니까? So what, it, what does it mean that we have been saved? 하나님이 함께 하시고. The fact that we have been saved, it 그렇죠. means God is with us. 자, 하나님이 나와 함께 한다. God, He is with me. 자, with입니다. So it is with. 우리와 함께 하신다. God is with us. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. 우리의 모든 일에 함께 하셔서 그 합력의 선을 주십니다. So God is with us in all things and then brings the good work for us. 자 이게 구원받냐의 특기 보여요. So this is the characteristic of the people who are saved. 불신자는 전혀 모르십니다. But unbelievers, they are completely ignorant about this. 왜냐 하나님 함께 안 하니까. It's because God is not with them. 그리고 신자가 분명히 하나님 함께 하는 거 이거 가지고 얼마든지 세상 이거 이 불신 이게 되는데 
the believers, uh, this mystery uh, that God is with them, with this they should overcome the world, but they are instead uh, conquered by the unbelievers in the field. 뭐냐, 모르고, 모르고 that means uh, realistically all the believers, they are not able to enjoy realistically this fact that with Emmanuel and oneness. 자, Even now, God is with us through the triune God or the Trinity. 그렇죠. So how does God how is God with us? God gives, uh, always give, gives us His word. God is invisible, but God always gives His word and He works through His word. Even now, Christ is breaking down three curses and also He has given us the authority to break down these three curses. Holy Spirit invisible to our eyes, but now He is with us and He also works upon us when we pray to Him. So all the believers, uh, realistically, they don't know about this fact and they are not able to enjoy this. Then how can they really overcome the world and then save the unbelievers? So for the evangelists, what is the special thing that they must uh, they must know? It is it is the the strength when they close themselves to near God, then they can gain the strength. So we must come ourselves near to God. So this is the the source of our power or strength. 하나님께 정말로 어, 능력이기 때문에 우리가 그리 가요. Because God Himself is the power, so we must make ourselves draw ourselves near to God. 그래서 예레미야 삼삼장 이전에 말했잖아요. That's why it's in Jeremiah chapter thirty-three verse two. 이를 행하는 분이 여호와라. So it says, the Lord who made the earth. 그래서 성취하는 분이 여호와라. Also, it is the Lord who formed it and established it. 그렇죠. 그래서 어, 그 이름이 여호와라 말이에요. And also it says the Lord is his name. 여호와란 말뭔 말이에요? So what is the 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 Lord? 스스로 있는 자리. The Lord is he who he is. 그렇죠. 피조물이 아니다 그 말이에요. It means he is not the creature. 아, 하나님이세요. Yeah, he is God. 그러니까 우리가 그 하나님께 나아가는 것이 그 하나님으로부터 우리가 힘을 얻는 것이 우리가 모든 이 그러니까 이 Coming to coming closer to God and gaining strength from God is it is the the source for us to overcome the world. That's why God told Jeremiah, "You must call to me." 그렇죠. 그러면 반드시 예, 뭡니까 예, 예, 응답하겠다는 거예요. God promised that I will answer you. 그리고 네가 알지 못한 크고 비밀한 일 보여주겠다. And I will also tell you the great and the hidden things that you do not know. 그러니까 우리가 하나님께로 나아가는 게 가장 힘의 원천이다. So that is why drawing closer to God is the source of power. 그 바울이 뭐라고요? And Paul. 빌립보 4장 13절에 내게 능력 주는 자 내가 모든 걸수 있다. In Philippians 4:13 he said, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. 이거는 바울이요. So this was said uh, in the prison by Paul. So in the prison, what could we do? Yet Paul confessed this: I can do all things through Him who gives me strength. 그러니까 뭐 하나님이 안에 우리가 그리스도 안에 있다. 끝난 거죠. So if we are in God, if we are in Christ, then that's it. Everything is over. 저와 여러분 현 주소가 그리스도 안에 있다면. If our current address is we are in God in Christ, then nothing can be a matter or problem to us. 그렇잖아. 그 그리스도는 그러니까 근본 하나님이시. That Christ is a fundamentally He is God Himself. 사람의 몸을 입고 오셔가지고 우리를 위해서 십자가에 죽으셨어요. He came in flesh, human body, and He died for our sins. 
He made himself nothing, taking the very nature of mankind, but God exalted him to the highest place. And also God gave him the name that is above every name. And all the knees should bow at his name. And also all the tongue must confess Jesus is Lord so that they can give glory to God. 그렇죠. 그래서 우리가 그래서 안에 있으면 아무것도 문제. That is why when we are in Christ, nothing really can be a problem to us. So Paul really he knew about this mystery. 여러분도 만약에 바울처럼 진짜 그래서 안에 있는 이 비밀을 알고 있다면 아무것도 문제. Just like Paul, if you also know this mystery, Paul enjoyed, then also nothing can be a problem 자, to you. 다윗을 보세요. Look at David. David, what is it? Samuel, 22장. Second Samuel, chapter 22. Uh, 23절. Verse 2 and 3. Uh, verse 23. 보면, so here, what can you see? 자, uh, 다윗이 하나님은 나의 경관 요새시고 나를 온전한 것으로 인도하시며 이렇게 말해. He confessed that the Lord is my rock and then he always leads me where a place where it is very safe. 다윗이 위대한 지도자가 된대요. 그 비밀이 뭡니까? So Paul, uh, the David became very uh, great renowned leader. So what was the reason for that? 하나님과 함께 했던 그 시간이 막 풍성한 사람입니다. Because he had an abundant time with God. 그렇죠. 그 다윗이 에, 뭐 해보지 못한 경험이 있다고 보겠나? Then what do you think the experience David never had? 아, 다윗이 실수를 한 적이 있는데 뭐라고 하죠? 불신을 한 적이 없어. David he made a mistake of course, but he never had any unbelief in his life. 다윗이 어떤 어려움이 와도 절대 불신을 안 해. No matter what kind of difficulties may come to him, but 하나님이 나와 함께. David never had a this uh, unbelief and oh he always confessed that the Lord 그렇죠. is with me. So David it means he always knew God and he enjoyed God. 여러분이 이 비밀을 가지면 어떻게든 믿어요. Also if you have this mystery David had then also you can win over everything. 그래서 사단은요. 어쨌든 우리가 이걸 못 하게 so that's why Satan always aim is that he hinders us from enjoying this mystery. 하나님을 아는 거야. 하나님을 우리는 얘기 못 하도록 방향. So Satan always fiercely attacks so that we do not know God. 그러니까 뭐 어, 사람들 그다 속는 거예요. That's why most of people deceived by Satan. 에, 마귀가 잘할 거 아닙니까? 우리가 하나님과 함께 누리면 절대 우리가 이길 수 없다. 우리 이길 수 없다는 마귀가 잘 알아요. Because the devil knows very well that if we are with God, the devil cannot overcome us. That's why he knows. 그 여러분 하나님 안 믿고 막 열심히 막 노력하면 그 마귀를 그 좋아해요. 왜냐 그런 걸 이길 수 있을까? For you, if you don't believe in God, you just do things diligently by your own strength, and the Satan, the devil, will be very pleased with that. 불신자 성공해 가지고 막 시대 움직이잖아. 전 마귀의 노력 종노란 거예요. Unbelievers, they succeeded and then they conquered this world and they control. They are in control of this world, but they they are enslaved by Satan still. 그러니까 but all the people they are ignorant about this fact because at the background of the unbelievers always Satan controls them. 사단은 정사, 근세, 어둠에서 주관자들, 한 약한 영들 그 움직이는 거예요. Satan always controls the all the spiritual forces of the dark world and also evil forces of dark world, authority as well as rulers. 자, 여러분이 만약에 이 비밀을 가지면 그런 세상을 살릴 수 있고요. 그런 사람이 영적 오면 살릴 수 있어요. So if you possess this mystery, then you will be able to save people who are lost in this, and also you will save the world who, which is lost in this. So in Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 2. So now let's talk about three attributes of God. So it is God who made the earth. So you should not ask why this thing happened to me. But the Bible says that the Lord who made the earth, who formed it, who established it, He is the Lord. 
여러분 당하는 일 그거 알고 봐 하나님이 그 일을 하신 거예요. So all the incidents, all the problems you encounter, if you know then because God is actually doing all the work. 당한 거죠. 그걸 이용해서 하나님이 하실 일을 성취하신다. Let's say if you go through difficulties and hardships, but through that God is fulfilling his word. 그래서 word. 이름을 여호와라고 말했습니다. That's why he says his name is the Lord. 우리 보고 한 가지 너는 네게 부지라고 말씀했습니다. That's why God he told us that you must call to me. 네, 그것만 하면 돼요. So that's all we have to do. 자, 그래서 여러분이 에, 이런 부분을 깨달아야 됩니다. So you must we must realize this mystery. 하나님 여러분과 하나님과의 내 개인이 교제하는 이제 많은 시간을 투자해야 됩니다. And also, you must invest a lot of time in personal fellowship with God. 자, 예수님도 새벽에 기도하러 가셨어요. Jesus also, in early morning, he prayed to God. 그렇죠. 예수님도 이 새벽에 조용한 시간에 하나님과 함께하는 그 누림 시간 가지. So in the early morning, in a very quiet time, you must enjoy time with God. 어떤 사람 새벽에 누가 만들어 간데 새벽에도 예수님 만들었어요. <웃음> Someone asked this question: Who made this early morning prayer service? It is Jesus. 조용한 그 시간에 하나님을 집중한 시간이 영경연 여러분 힘을 내는 시간인데 그걸 뭐안 하잖아요. At the very time, at the very quiet time with God, where we when when we concentrate on God, you can gain tremendous power God gives. 여러분 체험해 보셔야 돼. So you must experience this power. 네, 저는 이거 체험했기 때문에 아, 새벽 시간에 조용하잖아요. 아무도 안 소리잖아요. 그러니까 이때 말씀 기도 가지고 영이 하나님 집중하는. That is why for me, I already experienced this always early in the morning. I always have time with God. You know, I concentrate on God. I also gain all the strength. And also, I exercise to the point that I sweat a lot. So, but uh, during the day, I never get tired. So, how good is this? So what is the source of our power? Yeah, it is 그렇죠. the Lord. Yeah, we must draw ourselves near to God. 그래, 여러분, 이걸 진짜 체험해야 되고요. 이걸 계속 누릴 수 있으면 여러분은 진짜 세계복음 할수 있어요. Once you experience this, the the power, the source of uh, power, and if you continue in this, then you can actually evangelize. You can conquer the world. 자, 그래서 에스겔서 22장. And then Ezekiel chapter 22. 아, 30절입니다. Verse 30. 뭐라고 말씀했습니까? So here, what does it say? 무너질 때를 막아서 멸하지 못하게 할 자를 찾다가 찾지 못한 거라고 그러는 거. Oh, he says, and I thought for a man among them who should build up the wall and stand in the breach for me, before me for the land. 멸망을 막을 자, 우리를 살릴 자를 찾아야 한다. That that I should that I should not destroy it, but I found none. So, yeah, who can revive us? It is God. It is not people. So it is God who can revive us. But you try to find this uh, solution from man, that's why you cannot find it. And also you must have the, your priority correctly. So what does it mean that you have the correct uh, priority? If you change your priorities, you will see abundant power, wisdom, and God's works. 자, 초대교회가 보세요. 아, 베드로 거기 갇혀 때 어떻게 했어요? So when look at this, when early church time, when Peter was imprisoned, what, the early church members, what did they do? 전 성도가 밤에 집중적 기도했어요. So all the members they pray to God very concentratively. So on that night, uh, the door of the prison opened. Peter was actually in sleep uh, in the prison, but the angel of the Lord came to him and awakening him, and then bring him out of the prison. But at the time, all the church, early church members, gathered in the church and then earnestly prayed to pray for Peter. Yeah, it was God works, then no one can block God's work. And also Jeremiah lamentation. Chapter 2, verse 19. It says, pour out your heart like water. 
Before the presence of the Lord. So it means you really have to pour out your heart before our Lord. 그래서 로마서 1장 9, 9절입니다. And Romans chapter 1 verse 9. 예, 뭐라고 했습니까? 내 심령으로 생기는 하나님이 나의 증인 되심과 항상 내 기도의 시작하고 너희를 말합니다. He says, "For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of His Son, that without ceasing I mention you always in my prayers." Paul이 로마에 못 갔는데도 아, Paul이요 그 로마에 있는 성도에 기도한 거예요. Paul, even though he did not go to Rome, but he continuously prayed for the, all the believers in Rome. 왜요? 기도하면 된다는 거 아니에요? Because Paul knew that if he prays, 그렇죠. then everything is possible. 기도가 뭔지 안다. Paul knew what the prayer was. 모든 능이 하나님께 오기 때문에 기도하면 된다 이 말. Because all the power comes from the Lord, so Paul knew that what he has to do 그렇죠. is just to pray to God. 하나님 역사할 수 있으니까 기도하면 되는 거예요. God always can work, you know, uh, transcending time and space. So what we have to do is just pray to Him. 볼로 일장 구절 십절입니다. And in Colossians chapter one, verse nine and ten. 여기도 보면 이로써 우리도 듣던 나보다 너희를 위하여 기도하기를 그치지 않았다. And those it says. Uh, and so, from the day we heard, we have not ceased uh, uh, to pray for you. And Psalm chapter 23, verse 1. So it is the confession of David. What did he say? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. So really, it is everything. 아무 여호와가 나의 목자시가 나는 필요한 게 없다. Yeah, because the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. There is nothing uh, anymore I need. 여러분이 이거 진짜 다윗처럼 고백하셨다면 이미 여러분 기도가 되는 모든 게 되는 사람입니다. So if you truly can confess just like David, then I'm sure prayer is taking place in your life. 자, 그래서 예레미야 33장 3절이요. And then Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. 하나님께 나아가는 방법입니다. So this is the method to come before God. Call to me. 여러분이 기도로 하나님께 나아가라. So you must come before God through prayer. 자, 하나님께 나아가면 되는데 왜요? 기도로 나아가라. So we must draw ourselves near to God. How? Through prayer we must come before Him. 그리고 힘의 원천은 하나님께로 가까이 가는 거예요. That is why the source of our power should be drawing ourselves near to God. 자, 첫째 기도로 가는 거라면 그럼 두 번째 뭡니까? The first one is that through prayer we make ourselves draw near to God, but 말씀으로 하나님께 가까이. Uh, second, through God's word we can draw ourselves near to God. 자 말씀 앞으로 나가는 것이 주님께 나가는 것이다. So we come before the word, the way to come before God. 그게 힘의 원천이에요. So that's the source of the strength. 자 그래서 예레미야 33장 1절입니다. So Jeremiah Chapter 33, verse 1. 아, 말씀으로, because the word of the Lord came upon Jeremiah. 그렇죠. 것이, 아, yeah, coming before the word is the way come to come before God. 자, 디모데서 3장 16절 10절. Second Timothy chapter three, verse sixteen and seventeen. It says the scripture is God breathed. Yeah, in uh, English Bible it says all scripture is God breathed. 그 and also these God's word, the scripture makes us perfect. 자, and also Hebrew chapter four, verse twelve and thirteen. 하나님 말씀은 살았고 운동이 있다. It says God's word is living and active. 그래서 우리의 심령 골수 쪽이고 나 쪽이까지. It penetrates into our uh, dividing spirit, soul, uh, joints and marrow. 마음 생각을 다 판단하신다. And also it judges our thoughts and attitude of our heart. 자 이사야 사이장 팔절을 보래. And Isaiah chapter forty verse eight. 여호와의 말씀은 영영히 소리를 하라. He said, "The word of the Lord stand forever." Yeah, it means the word of uh, the the word of the God is forever or eternal. Matthew 5:17 and 18. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 and 18. Not the smallest letter or not the least stroke of pen 
will by any means will disappear from the law is it 시편 119편 97절 and psalm chapter 119 and verse 97 이게 뭐랍니까 다윗은 내가 주의 법을 어찌 그리 사랑하는지요 내가 그것을 종일 묵상하여 David confessed, oh, "Oh, how I love you! Oh, how I love your law! It is my meditation all the day." 여러분이 말씀을 그냥 막 쫓기도 하면 돼요. 조용히 묵상. So you should not you should not read the God's word very haste, hastily, but in a very quiet uh, way you must meditate. 요소 일장 구절을 보면 뭐라 했습니까? 할철에. And also Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. 말씀을 묵상. So it says if you invest in meditation and pray. 여러분이 하나님 말씀을 조용히 정말 이제 집중해 묵상하는 시간이. So you if you have really a very quiet time where where you concentrate on God's word. 그러면 분명히 형통물이 열린다. Then for sure the prosperity will be upon you. 그러니까 우리가 말씀으로 나가는 게 하나님께 가는 길이에요. So that's why uh, throw ourselves near to God's word is come before God. 자, to come before God. 시편 119편 예, 25절입니다. And also Psalm chapter 119 and verse 25. 주의 말씀대로 나를 소성케 하소서. It says give me life according to your word. 자, 35절입니다. And verse 35. 이게 뭐라고 했습니까? 주의 계명 계명의 협경으로 행하게 하소서. 내가 이를 즐거워합니다. Lead me in the path of your commandments for I delight in it. 또 47절. And Psalm 119 verse 47. 여기는 뭐라 그러냐면 주의 계명을 스스로 즐거워하며. For I find my delight in your commandments. 이거 특징이 뭐예요? So what are the all the characteristics of All these Bible verses here. I delight in the word of the Lord. 여러분 말씀 읽고 묵상이 즐겁습니까? So do you really take a joy when you read God's word and meditate? 항상 말씀 하면 졸리고 말씀 하면 막 아픈다. For some people, whenever they read the Bible, whenever they uh, listen to the God's word, they doze off. They feel sleepy. 그거는요 신간 영적 문제. That's a, we can say it is a serious a spiritual problem. 그렇잖아. 성경은 하나의 말씀은 꿀성이 보다도 낫다 기다. Because Bible says that the God's word is sweeter than the honey. 그 그래 되는 게 정상이라고. So it is natural for us to become like that. 그 말씀은 막막 힘들고 어렵다는 거는 그 영적 상태가 안 좋다 그 말이야. But if you think that the word of God is very difficult, it's very boring, and also then your spirit state is not really in a good sound condition. 그 여러분이 말씀 가지고 하, 하나님께 집중하고 하나님께 갈수 있는 길인데 이 말씀이 우리가 그냥 말로 막 힘들다는 게 하나님과의 관계 안 열려져. Coming before the word is I already mentioned it is the way to come before God. But if you're not able to meditate on God's word, then how things can work out for you? 그래서 여러분이 말씀을 들을 때나 말씀을 읽을 때나 항상 이 즐거움을 찾아야 돼. That's why whenever you read the word of God or listen to word of God, you must find the pleasure and joy from it. 여러분들이 저는 그래요. 메시지를요. 그냥 막 들었고 막 다른 거 들으면 그 말씀 즐긴 됩니까? For me, when I listen to the message, I don't really do anything else because I cannot concentrate on the message. 어떻게 하냐? 녹취를 해요. So you know, when I listen to the message, what do I do? I always transcribe the messages so that I can concentrate. 녹취를 적어야 되니까 집중하게. Because for the transcribing the message, because I must concentrate so that I can transcribe. 진짜 말씀 집중해 보냐? 말씀들 굉장한 예 이런 은혜라고 힘을 얻고요. 정말 하나님 말씀이 막 이게 제일 막 살립니다. 선생님. When I truly concentrate on God's word, then I gain tremendous power, and also I find tremendous joy from God's word. 두 가지입니다. 기도로 하나님께 나가. God's word revives me It's through prayer. And also through God's word, I come before God. 그러면 분명히 여러분이 하나님으로부터 힘을 얻기 때문에 모든 걸할 수. Then it is a sure thing that you gain the strength from God so that you can do all things. 자 하나님께 나아가면 어떻게 됩니까? Once you come before God, then what will happen? 그러면 에, 분명히 말씀하세요. 여러분은 분명히 어떤 답 받느냐? So what kind of answers will you receive then? 
예레미야 33장 3절. It's in Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. 그렇죠. 반드시 응답받게 된다. For sure you will receive answers. 예, 하나님은 반드시 응답받게. So for sure God will answer you. 그렇죠. 그리고 어, 하나님께 가, 가까이 가면 하나님 분명 응답하겠다 말씀하셨죠. And also if you draw near to God, then God promised that He will answer you. 우리가 생각지 못한 크고 비밀한 일을 깨닫게 되고. And also He will tell you the great and hidden things you did not know. 그러니까 예측 못할 은혜. So it is we say unfathomable grace. 그러니까 여러분이 막 전혀 예측 안 했는데. You didn't expect at all, but you received unexpected 그렇죠. God's grace. 크고 은밀한 일을 알게 돼. Because you will know the great and hidden things of God you did not know. 자, 다음 33장 6절 뭐예요? And then chapter 33 verse 6. 어, 이거 봤지요? We already read this Bible, this 33, verse. 33장 6절 보면 그러나 보라 내가 이 성읍을 치료하며 고쳐 낫게 하고 평안과 진실이 평상을 그들에게 나타낼 것이다. Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to it. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. 하나님이 치료의 능력을 주시겠다. So God will give you the power of healing. 자, 그다음 뭡니까? 예, 실전입니다. And then verse 7. 실전에 뭐라고 있어요? In verse 7. 내가 유다의 포로와 이스라엘의 포로로 돌아오게 하여 그들을 처음과 같이 세울 것이다. I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and will rebuild them as they were before. 하나님의 회복의 능력을 줄 것이다. God will give you the power of restoration. 자, 나 뭡니까? 33장 8절입니다. And then verse 8. 8절에 내가 그들을 내게 범한 그 모든 죄악에서 정하게 하며 그들이 내게 범하여 행한 모든 죄악을 사할 것이라. I will cleanse them from all the sin they have committed against me, and it will forgive all their sins of rebellion against me. 사죄 은총을 주겠다. God will give you the forgiving grace. 자 마지막 삼십삼절 구절 뭐? And lastly, Jeremiah chapter thirty-three verse nine. 구절 보니까 이 성급이 세계 열방 앞에서 나의 기쁜 이름이 될 것이며 찬송과 영광이 될 것이요. 그들 내가 이 백성의 베푼 모든 복을 들을 것이요. 내가 이 성읍에 베푼 모든 복과 모든 평안으로 말미암아 두려워하며 떨리라. Then this city will bring me renown, joy, praise, and honor before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it, and they will they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. God will give you the blessing of to become a witness. 여러분 보고 불신자들이 두려워한다 말이야. So. The unbelievers looking at you, they will be afraid of you. 네, 왜요? 하나님이 역사하는 거 보고 좋아한다. Why? Because they see God's work taking place in your life. 자, 여러분들이 그래서 우리가 힘의 원천은 하나님께로 가는 건데 어떻게 기도로 말씀을? The source of our power or strength it is uh, through ourselves near to God through prayer and through God's word. 자, 그래서. 어, 여러분들이 에, 시간을 가져야 돼요. 아무리 두고 그냥 두고 나보면 의미 없잖아요. So you must always have this time, even though you hear this, but you don't apply or you don't have time to meditate, then 그렇죠. it does not have much meaning. 내가 어떤 시간을 가져야 되냐? So what kind of faith should I have? 여러분이 정말 하나님께 집중할 시간을 가져. So truly, you must have time to concentrate on God. 아, 말씀 기도 가지고 가는 건 알았는데 그러면 정말 하나님께 집중할 시간 가져야 돼. Now you learn that you can uh, come before God through prayer and word. Then what you have to do is you need to have time to concentrate on God. 보좌와 소통해. It is a communication with the throne of God. 보좌에게 주님이 우리 인생을 주관하고. Because the Lord who is on the throne are in control. 그렇죠. Is is in control 네. of our lives. 모든 능력을 여기서 우리가 공급해. And also, he supplies all the powers from the throne. He also he is in control of the world history. He also reigns over all the churches and the nations. He becomes the control tower for the world evangelization. 
So we must have time to communicate with this throne of God. 여러분이 참자입니다. 정말 이제 엎드린 시간도 있어요. So it is really true. You must have time kneel down before God. 말씀과 기도 가지고 진짜 하나님께서 Yeah, through using God's word and prayer, please communicate with the throne. 이 시간이 아니면 어디 되냐? Once you have this time of communication with God, 분명히 하나님이 천사를 움직인다. For sure, God will mobilize His angels for you. 자, 하나님이 천사는 구원받은 후사 생긴다고 했어. Because all these angels they serve those who are saved. 마태복음 18장 10절을 보니까요, 얼마에 하나도 없으신 이 말을. And those in Matthew chapter 18 verse 10, uh, you we should not look down on the little ones. 그 천사가 날마다 보좌에서 하나님 얼굴을 본다는 말을 보관다고 말이. Because their angels always see the face of God in the throne. 우리가 기도할 때그 기도를 전부 담아서 보좌 올리시다. And also when we pray, all the angels they bring our prayers to God. 올리기만 하는 게 아닙니다. Not only just bring our prayer to the throne. 이 하나님의 응답을 가지고 우리가 내려갔거든요. Revelation chapter 18, uh, chapter 8, verse 5. Also with the answers, the angels they come down from heaven. 20편 20편 22절에 뭐라고 말씀하십니까? So Psalm chapter 103 and verse 20 and 22. 하나님의 말씀을 이루는 천사. You do uh, angels who do God's will or. 하나님의 뜻을 이루는 천군이라고. And also who fulfills God's word. 하나님이 임재한 곳에 있는 너희요. You mighty ones, you who dwell where God is. 그러니까 하나님 말씀을 성취되고 우리 하나님 뜻을 내 반드시 천국에 전도 나오네. That is why when God's word is fulfilled, then absolutely angels are there too. 자 모세 앞서 주의 사자를 보내. And also God sent the angels ahead of Moses. 지금도 이런 일이 벌어지고 있어. Even now these works are taking place. 예수님께서 말씀해 보자 내 위에 인자가 위에 오르락 천국 전도 그러니까. And also, this is what Jesus said, John chapter one verse fifty one. You will see the the angel of the Lord will ascend and descend on top of the Son of Man. 여러분이 기도 말씀 기도할 때 말로 말씀 함께 주할 때 이런 일이 벌어집니다. When you truly concentrate on God through prayer and word, these things will take place. 그래서 분명히 성령이 역사하시면 사단이 결박. So it is a sure thing that the, when the Holy Spirit works, then Satan is bound. 네, 그리고 하나님 나라. And then God's kingdom will be established. 그래서 우리 보고 강한 자를 결박시켜 그 집에 세간을 거짓이다. That's why Jesus is said Matthew 12:29 that only when you bind the strong man first, then you can carry up his possessions. 그래서 우리 보고 너희가 하나님의 성전을 가 성전 너희 그 안에 알지 못하는 양. And also First Corinthians 3:16, do you not know that you are the temple of God? God's spirit dwells in you. 하나님 나는 여기 있다 지금 말은 너희 안에 있다고 말씀했어. And you cannot say God's kingdom here it is, there it is, but it is within you. Luke 17:21. 우리는 왕 같은 제사장이다. We are a royal priesthood now. 그렇죠. 그리고 계시록 5장 10절에 뭐라고 했습니까? First, First Peter chapter two verse nine, and then Revelation chapter five. 우리가 땅에서 왕노릇. Verse ten, so we will reign on this earth. 여러분이 진짜 해보세요. So truly, I want you to really practice this. 정말로 내가 하늘 보좌와 소통하시오. Apply this. Really have a time to communicate with the throne of God. 이런 시간이 여러분이 굉장한 힘을 넣는 시간인데 이 힘을 넣지 못하니까. So it is time for you to gain tremendous power from God. So unless you have this uh, strength and power when you go out into the world, that's why you are beaten by the unbelievers. 성도도 능이 필요하다면 전도자는 더 많은 능이 필요한 거예요. If the believers are in need of this power, then the evangelists even need more power of this. 여러분 전도 나가서 하는 중요한 게 여러분이 힘을 얻어야 돼요. So for the evangelist, it is not important you go out and preach, but before that you must gain this power God gives to you. Yeah, because he said only the 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 strong man is bound first, then you can carry off his. Once you go out with the spiritual strength and power, then Satan is bound. 그때 여러분 나가면 사단 길받은 이제 사단이 어서 오라 가고 있으니까 되나 말이 전도 안 돼. But once you go out, you know, Satan will is welcoming you. Oh, come, you know, I welcome you. That's why evangelism is not taking place. 마귀가 알고 있어요. Yeah, the devil knows already. 내가 바울도 알고 예수 안 믿는 누구야? I know Paul. I know Jesus. Who are you? 그렇고 되는 게 하나도 없잖아. 그 마귀가 볼때 우습게 왔는데 그 어떻게 되겠어요? 전도. So but even the devil ridicule you and then criticize you. So that's why the things are not working out for you. 여러분이 실제로 영적을 안다면 그렇잖아요. 초월하고 뭐라고 영원한 하나님의 나를 안다면 
If you realistically know about this spiritual world and you, if you're able to all the transcendent eternal things of God, 우리는 그거는 모르면서 세상 나와봐 막 세상이 어마어마하고 막 세상 사람이 막 이렇게 힘이 그 눌리가지고 혼자 말. Then you can overcome the world, but when without this power, when we we go out into the world, then we think that oh, these people of the world are so great, so renowned, they are much better than us. They we think this. 그래 왜냐면 왜그 하나님 최고 영적인 어마한 비밀 모를까 그래. It's because we lost hold of the tremendous blessing from heaven. 그러니까 신자가 그 모르면 불신자보다 더 모한 거예요. If the believers do not know about this mystery, then they are 그렇죠. even worse off than the unbelievers. 불신자 밑에 종노이 된다. They have no choice but to be enslaved by the unbelievers. 그러니까 이 세상 못 살래요. So with that, how can you save the world? 여러분이 이번 주간에 신자 알아듣 So within this week, I really want you to understand there's the source of power. Where does the source of power come from? Jeremiah who was confined in the courtyard of the guard, God told him, you must call to me. So it says, the word of the Lord came upon him and then God told him, you must call to me. Then God promised that I will answer you. 내가 누구냐? Who am I? 이를 행하는 여호와 그시고 성취하는 여호와 이름이 여호와다. I am the Lord who made the earth, who formed it, established it. 그렇죠. 그러니까 하나님이 하시는데 안 되게 뭐 있어요? If God works, then you know, is there anything that is impossible? 그 힘의 원천이 하나님께로 나아가라고 말해요. So that's why we tell you, we ask you. Come before God, who is the source of the power. Once you receive God's word to you, then you must concentrate concentrate on God with that word. If God works upon you, then that is it. No one can block. So if God opens the door, who can close the door? Who can block the door? 회복하고, 용서하겠다, yeah, God already gave us this answer. I will answer you. I will give you the power of healing, power of restoration, and also forgive you and also make you witness. 여러분이 그 하나님과 정말로 늘 교통한 시간을 가지 말아요. So truly, I want you to really have time always to communicate with that God. So I want you to start from today. Let us pray. Father God, thank you. 하나님이 힘의 원천인데 우리가 하나님의 능력 누리지 않고 자기 힘으로 살다가 하나님이야 우리가 안 된다고 말합니다. God, you are the source of our power, but we live our lives with our own strength, and then we confess that oh, things are not working out for us. It is difficult. 오늘 우리가 모든 것 해보는 시간 되게 좋습니다. But may today it may be a time we restore everything. 새로운 시작 되게 하여 좋습니다. May this be a new start today. 예레미야에게 주신 메시지 우리도 성취되게 하여 좋습니다. May the message given to Jeremiah be fulfilled in us as well. 주 예수 그리스도로 기도합니다. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.